What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to install AutoGPT right on your computer so you can start using it right away. Before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. That's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Speaking of thanks, I wanna give a huge shout out to Money Dev. Thank you so much for being a channel supporter. If you wanna be a channel supporter, click on that membership button below. All right, so now that that's out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and start right into the installation process. We're gonna right click on the desktop and create a new folder. And we're gonna name this Auto GPT Clone, because I already have an Auto GPT on my desktop, so I'm just gonna call this Clone. And we're gonna open up that folder. Now, if you have the extension to go ahead and right click in the folder and open that folder in Terminal, you can use that. If you don't, we're gonna go ahead and open up Terminal or Command Prompt separately. So let's go ahead and type in Terminal. And again, you can use command prompt if you'd like. I like terminal. We're going to right click on that and go to run as administrator. Now we need to go into this directory. So we're going to go ahead and copy the address of this directory and then type CD for change directory and paste that in. Now we're in that folder. Now we need to actually uh, clone the Git repository. So I'm going to put an address with the directions for this, but we're going to type in Git clone and then the address of the auto GPT Git. Uh, we're gonna press enter, and you'll see that it starts auto populating all of this, and uh, now that folder exists. Now we need to go into the auto GPT folder, so we're gonna type cd auto dash GPT, and then we need to install the requirements. So we're gonna type in pip install slash r requirements dot text and you're going to press enter and that's going to start installing all the dependencies uh, like the open ai dependencies and things like that and uh, place them into that folder or not on that folder it's going to install them on the environment so that that folder can use them all right so that looks like it installed everything uh, now we need to go ahead and start the program itself um, but we haven't entered any of our api keys yet so let's open up auto gpt here and you'll see that we have an environment template. We're gonna to wanna to open that in uh, Visual Studio Code or even uh, Notepad if you want to. Um, but I'm gonna open it in Visual Studio Code so it's easier to read. And here we can adjust some uh, settings. One setting you may choose to address in the future is you can change this to true, which will allow it to run local commands. So if it needs to install a package on your computer, it can actually do that on its own. But for testing, uh, maybe don't enable that right away. What you do need to enable is your open AI API key. So you do need to paste your API key here. Um, and technically with just that, it'll work. Um, Optionally, you can enter your Pinecone API key and your 11 Labs API key to use uh, voice stuff. You can also um, set up your uh, Hugging Face API token if you have one so that you can use their services as well. Um, but the only thing you're going to need to actually get the OpenAI and AutoGPT section working is your OpenAI key. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that now. And I've gone ahead and pasted my API key and saved the file. All we need to do now is remove the template from the end of it. If you don't see template, go ahead and click on the uh, view option, go to show and choose show hidden file extensions. So you wanna see file name extensions here. Um, and then you wanna delete the template from the end of this so that it just says .env. Hit yes, and now we're ready to run. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to our terminal window and we're going to type in uh, python dash m and then auto gpt great now it says enter the name of your ai and its role below we're going to call this um uh, mike the text youtube helper all right, so now we can type its role. So what should it do? So it's an AI designed to come up with new video ideas based on what performed well on the Mike the Tech YouTube channel. Now we can enter five goals increase the subscriber count of the channel um, 
analyze the channel for new video ideas. And uh, let's say, come up with potential topics and scripts. And then you can enter up to five goals. If you only want to add a few, we can just press enter with a blank goal and it'll end there. And then you can see it starts thinking and that's it. It's running auto GPT. It's going to come up with a plan of action and then explain to you the results of what it's going to do. And you can hint yes or no to let it know whether it can continue. So we can see, I think we should start by analyzing the channel's performance to identify errors that need improvement. Uh, analyzing the channel's performance will help identify areas that need improvement, come up with video ideas that will increase subscriber count. Uh, so the plan is to analyze the channel's performance, identify areas, and blah, blah, blah. I suggest that we start by doing this. So do you want to do that? Yes. And we can hit enter. And you can see it's already going into a web page to analyze. And I don't think it's going to be able to do anything there because it needed to log in. So it'll be interesting to see what it comes up with or what it says based on that because obviously it couldn't get to uh, my page. Sometimes it'll ask for you to log in. Sometimes it'll ask for an API key. Sometimes it'll just get stuck and not sure, not be sure what to do. So we'll see what it says. Yep, so it says we need to find a way to access the channel's analytics because it couldn't. Accessing the channel's analytics will give us insights into its performance. So find a way to access it, blah, blah, blah. Do you want to continue? And we'll hit yes. But it's going to keep on coming back and figuring out ways to, um, you know, circumvent the errors that it receives. So it's really cool to see. It's really cool to see that it has access to your actual computer, um, installing dependencies, and even opening websites as you saw to analyze them. Um, it's going to be an amazing tool. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I'll leave a link to this project uh, in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace. It's my detect, my detect, huh? My detect, the architect, huh? My detect, my detect, yeah. My detect, the architect.